What's going on everyone, it's Justin here and today we have the first setup makeover episode for this year. So this is your favorite series last year and in this episode we have a setup where we kind of redid different parts of the room including the desk itself that saw a major transformation as well as a bit of like the bed and the living room side of things that is all within one room that is actually a decent size and has space for a little bit of everything. So this setup is for my trainer Sean and as you can tell I never show up in my workouts but what we kind of want to do with the setup is declutter the room kind of open it up a little bit and there was room for a large desk which is why we went with a long kitchen countertop style this setup design is actually inspired by Andres and I actually really like his kind of overall theme on Instagram and these posters are actually from his company Can Vogue. So yeah, huge thanks to him for giving us the inspiration and kind of helping us with a bit of the design process. And I think the biggest difference or thing that we added with this one is that there's actually a standing desk element built into a desk that looks like it is a permanent sitting fixture and inspired by some of the other setup makeovers that we also did last year. As always, if you guys like to win an item from this video, just make sure you subscribe to the channel, drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below, and also follow me over on Instagram and drop your username down below as well. And I'll be contacting a winner when this video hits 5,000 likes. All right, what's good? My name is Sean, and right now I'm Justin's trainer, and this is my humble abode. And so pretty much right here is where I do a ton of different stuff. This is my setup as of now, and this computer and this workspace is where I have a lot of client interaction and a lot of learning to do with what I'm involved in. And so at the moment, this room is a bit of a shit show. I've moved in here recently, and I've still yet to really decide what I wanna do with all this space. And so I have clothing out right now in various places, furniture all over the place. I'm really excited to be able to coordinate with Justin and be able to work out something that works better for my lifestyle that I like to enjoy. And so pretty much the entertainment section is pretty minimal. What I've got going on is just a TV that's been in the family for a long time and my bed is as minimal as it gets. My shelf right now is just filled with a bunch of stuff I don't have room for anywhere else. And so again, it's a bit of a colossal mix of a bunch of books I love to read as well as electronics and other stuff. And so at the moment, what would be ideal for me is to have a couch more so in the middle of the room. So now I'm able to separate where I lounge and where I work. As you can see behind me, this couch doesn't really do well here mixed in with where I work. And so to be able to really separate the two would be ideal. And so as the design for the desk goes, right now what works for me is a stand-up desk. Someone who's very athletic and always wanted to move around. I really enjoy being able to stand up when I'm interacting with people as well as learning. And so what's gonna work is a stand-up desk that has much more desk space than what you currently see because I'm not able to keep all my things tidy apparently and on a small desk like this. And so a levered stand-up desk with a wood top that really adds to that natural quality, that warmer quality in the room would be ideal. And so I have a larger space, can put some speakers on, and I have more room to just put my stuff, organize everything, and have a bigger monitor. So the first step as always is to go ahead and clean up the space and in Sean's case there was quite a bit of stuff here and there but it definitely wasn't as dirty as some of the previous episodes where there was just like food, dust and all that kind of stuff. So we just moved everything out of the way and because we're kind of rearranging the setup of the bed, the TV area and also the desk itself with a much larger one, we just have to start from a very clean slate. I think the idea with this is to still keep like a very earthy and wood tone to it, but at the same time move some of the stuff to different areas of the room to really separate it. So the first thing that we got to work on is the bed, and the one that we chose is the IKEA Malm because it is simple, clean, and also rather economical. So before Sean didn't really have a bed frame, it was just like a bit of a roller, and he also told me that his mattress was from the hospital, and as you can see, it definitely needed to be replaced. Sean was also super excited when we told him that we were getting him a custom mattress, so he went ahead and filled out the quiz, and within a couple weeks, the mattress was here, and he was able to switch over to that right away. Sean does wake up pretty early in the morning and a lot of times it is to drive over and train me about three to four times a week at the most, so having good sleep for him is very important. 
especially because he's far more active throughout the day than I am. So the match just before I had this one was funny enough actually from a hospital. My dad came home one day and was like, they're about to throw out this mattress. And so the one I had before that was just an absolute mess as well. And so the one I was sleeping on was a hospital mattress for the longest time. And once the Helix came in, I noticed right away such a big difference. Being the active person that I am, recovery and sleep quality is amongst one of the most important things we can do. And so just noticing my recovery, my comfort while sleeping and the quality of the mattress has made a huge difference in how I approach my movement practice and my day to day living. So as you can probably tell, Sean really likes his mattress, so I want to give a huge thanks to the sponsor of this video, Helix, which is actually the mattress that I've been using for the past four years as well. I've personally really enjoyed it, and with a lot of our setup makeovers, including bedrooms nowadays with a lot of friends who are students, it all just seems to make sense, and I think through sleep, we're really able to add a crucial part into the makeover as well, which is the mattress. The thing I've liked the most about Helix from the start is their sleep quiz. So you can go ahead and enter the size that you would like, the number of people sleeping on it, as well as some information of the person who's going to be using it. It will also ask you about your sleep position, whether it is back, side, or stomach, and the next step is based on your feel preference so if you like a softer mattress a medium one or a firmer one from there it will give you answers based on your quiz and it will show you the mattress that they believe is perfect for your sleeping style and preference so in sean's case it was the helix midnight which gives you a medium feel for side sleepers from there you are all good to go and the mattress will show up in a nice box and as soon as you cut it open the mattress just kind of reveals itself and Sean was actually so excited that he set it up before we got there. As I mentioned this is a product that I've used myself for the last four years and from the second that I received it I noticed that it was a huge improvement from my previous mattress and to this date it is still one of the favorite pieces in my entire home. I think the best part here is there is a ton of different options based on your preferences. They also have a Lux model available as well. And as you can tell, Sean has absolutely loved his time with this mattress. So if you guys want to go ahead and check it out for yourself and do the sleep quiz, just go ahead and click on the top link in the description or visit helixsleep.com slash Justin. They also have a 100 night trial guarantee, so if you don't like it after 100 days, it is free to return. And they also have student discounts available as well. So once we moved everything else out of the way, the rest of the items arrived and I've got to say, this is probably the longest setup makeover that we've ever done because some of the products were just simply out of stock for many months, specifically the IKEA Alex. The first thing we picked up was a bookshelf to go next to the bed, so once the whole like bedroom setup was all done, Sean was at least able to sleep on the new bed while we waited for all the other parts for the desk. The first step in doing the desk setup though is the IKEA Alex, and the reason why we use this is because it is accessible if you can find it, but at the same time provides a ton of storage with 10 drawers combined on each side. One feature that is different about this setup makeover compared to the others though is that we are doing a standing desk hybrid. So this is an idea that I saw off of Andres' setup, and the reason why I like it so much is because it doesn't look like a standing desk, but at the same time it gives you that functionality while giving you a ton of storage as well on each side. Side. These standing desk legs are actually very reasonable and it is actually from a company called Vivo which we've used a lot when it comes to monitor stands that are also very affordable. At under $200 you get the standing desk leg frame in the color of white or black and it is able to fit a 40 to 75 inch desk top and in this case our desk is just about 70 inches. It is able to support about 175 pounds and we started out by lining up the IKEA Alex's, figuring out how much space we needed and also the size of the desktop from the hardware store and from there just lined everything up and made sure everything was perfect before we screwed it all in. I think the best part about this DIY custom standing desk is that you can go ahead and use any top that you would like. You could use the IKEA Carlby which we've had in the past but this is actually from Lowe's and it was just a butcher block that is super clean and you're able to varnish it exactly the way that you like. So now that we've lined everything up and marked it, it is time to just smooth off the edges because from the shop these were definitely very sharp. So just give it a quick run and then put your layers of varnish on. Some people might like a little bit darker or a little bit lighter, but the best part about it is that it is totally up to you. After the desk and everything is mounted, we also want to add the cable holder underneath which is the IKEA Signum and with a solid wood top, it is super easy to screw anything in. 
So now the desk itself is ready, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the tech products including the 29 inch display, Grove made accessories that go with the wood top, Kanto U4 speakers that are also made of bamboo and match perfectly, as well as a microphone for Sean's virtual coaching. I think the Grove made accessories really did set a foundation as to how we want to make the rest of the desk look. With the speaker setup, if you really like the wood finish, this goes perfectly, but they also have many different color options as well, and Kanto makes very high quality and great sounding products that just also look great. When it comes to size, this is definitely their larger model. They also make a U2 as well, and I would say if your desk is over 60 inches in length, then you can fit these speakers quite comfortably. So when it comes to the monitor, ultra wide ones are an easy option. And in this case, we went with a good medium size of 29 inches. You can either get like a 27 inch standard monitor or a 34 inch true ultra wide. But in Sean's case, because he did prioritize larger speakers and still wants to fit some stuff on each side of the desk, I figured 29 inches was the perfect size and still a really good improvement from his laptop screen. Once we have some of the accessories out though, the next thing that we also added was the Govi RGB IC LED strip. Sean is someone who really likes his lighting and whether it is like the salt lamps or the warm tones this light right here has 16 million colors so you can have that full spectrum of custom color options. With the adhesive finish we just went ahead and taped it to the back of the desk and the remote control is all fully built in and you can go through different cycles of colors and also patterns. The next step was to go ahead and add the Vivo monitor stand and as I mentioned Vivo is a company that also makes the desk stand in this case and I think this was like $20. We've used it before and it is really easy to mount onto any VESA compatible monitor and all the screws are included. For some setups we don't even bother with an external mount but the reason why we did it for this one is because I figured it would be nice to have a bit more storage underneath for his laptop or notebook and by having the monitor hanging on a separate mount it also gives Sean more flexibility because this monitor actually didn't have any height adjustability built in. The next step was to put the speakers in as well as the keyboard, peripherals, and mouse before we connect everything to make sure it all works. When it comes to finishing touches, this is the Grove made felt desk mat and it just helps protect the desk surface while also giving it a bit of separation because everything is the same colored wood. When it comes to the keyboard, this is the Keychron, which looks very minimal and has a nice touch of color on the corner. And we also went ahead and added the Grove main laptop stand, which allows him to just plug everything in, have it out of the way and on the side. And the insert in the middle also matches the desk mat that we went with. Grove Mate also makes a really nice headphone stand so we went ahead and put that on the other side and the leather finish paired with the wood is just something that I'm a huge fan of. So once you kind of have a feel for how the whole desk setup is going and like the height of all the products and monitors, the next thing was to add some of that wall accents. The pegboard's been a very popular option lately because it gives you some additional storage while also tying into the setup itself. We first did it last year and I've been a huge fan and I started using it in my own places as well. We also added a few more posters and frames here and there, but one thing to keep in mind, especially if you're in a compact space and doing a standing desk, is that you may have to move your desk a few inches off the wall so it doesn't hit any of the wall accessories as it goes up and down. All the wall accessories that we went with are relatively affordable, whether it's IKEA frames or Etsy prints, but we also grabbed some canvas prints from Canvogue. That's where you can find some of the motivational quotes and it's all printed on very high quality material. So there you have it, that is our desk setup makeover and this consisted of many parts from different companies, whether it was the Amazon Vivo branded standing desk frame that works very well and is fully electronic, the IKEA Alex drawers or the top from Lowe's and any hardware store, but it all kind of came together with the material of choice which was a light colored wood finish from the Grobe made accessories and the Kanto speakers. On the tech side of things, it has some good elements as well, the 29 inch monitor which is the perfect size, some accessories on each side to hold the laptop and also the headphones, and on the wall you have a mixture of storage space for books and accessories, some space for the cactus as well, and also a key holder over on the right side with some posters in between. Because the room had a lot of space, the desk itself is also a great size. It is almost 70 inches in length and as you can see, there's space for everything that he needs and then some. In addition to that, you also have some storage on each side and although the IKEA Alex wasn't an easy one to find, I kind of insisted on that for this idea because I felt like it just worked very well. So right off the bat, what I really love about this setup is first, the wood. I'm someone who loves natural things and having plants and a ton of wood really catches my eye. 
Um, the second is just the whole vibe is so much more simple and spread out than what I had before. So my <laughs> setup, if you can call it before, was just a mess of no space, things here and there, and there's no organization. And so what I've loved about what Justin's helped me do is create a space that's much more organized, much more orderly, and has there's an intention behind everything on this desk and on the wall. Um, being the person that I am who loves to be active, another key component of this setup is the stand-up desk. And so this has been a really cool option to have when I'm on the computer with clients or I'm just living an active lifestyle, needing to do what I'm doing on a computer. It's great to have the option to stand up or sit down. I'm a huge fan of music and mood. And two of the things about this setup that I've really enjoyed is the speakers, which are incredible. I love the sound that comes out of these speakers and the LEDs on the back. because I'm a big fan of different colors representing different moods and vibes. And so having the ability to change the color based on how I'm feeling or to just add a little more color into my day is an awesome bet. And so the monitor itself is amazing to have. All I had before was a laptop. And so being able to multitask using a much bigger screen has been a huge help for just tracking different things and working on different projects at the same time. And so thank you, Justin. So because we did shuffle the bed around in Sean's room, instead of getting him a nightstand, I figured a shelf would be a much better use of space. And it was pretty much the same price as getting a nightstand. He seems to have a lot of decor, whether it is plants, lights, which are wake up patterns. So we just went ahead and decorated the shelf and also added a wireless charger. But Sean usually doesn't like to keep his phone too close to the bed. On the bottom is also a couple storage compartments. So everything just kind of went very perfectly. And I feel like the bed, aside from the setup, is probably one of the biggest noticeable improvements in any home space. I think for anyone who is near my age, we spent a lot of time sleeping and at the computer, but in Sean's case, because he is a personal trainer, he also spends a ton of time outside. So to him, the bed is actually the most important because it is where he recovers. When it comes to the living room area, everything is kept rather simple. He painted the cabinets to go with the rest of the room and that was a huge difference. Switch out the hardware to black and that is once again a way to kind of change the overall feel of the room through hardware. But also wall mounted the TV at a nice height with the wires all going through the wall and it's actually much easier than you think to do that. Just find the studs, mount your TV. Um, TV mounts come in at a price of like 10 to $20 sometimes if you have like an average size TV under 55 inches and by drilling a hole and just wiring it down you can just have your hdmi and your power connected to your devices in the cabinet and it just makes such a big difference and it is something that i do every single time i just like always see people who have like living rooms that are very nice but the tv wires are just all over the place and i feel like you can really clean that up quite easily other than that, he has like his salt lamps, which he really enjoys, as well as some plants here and there. Um, and those are all just like lined up along the top, but the centerpiece is still the floating TV, which looks very good. The gray sectional couch is also a really nice way to separate the room and give it a few different dimensions for watching TV while leaving some open area on each side to do some exercises. And that couch was found on Facebook Marketplace. And I think you guys would be really surprised. If you go on Facebook and keep an eye out for a couple weeks, you'll see a ton of options. And a lot of times things can come and go very fast, but as you miss out on one, you kind of have the notifications on and eventually you're gonna find a great couch at a great price. Furniture is one of those things that people pay a lot of money for and plan to use for a long time, but say you're moving or something, you just wanna get it out of the way, you really have no choice but to sell it, and that's when you can find one and get a great deal on it. When it comes to the art on the wall, you guys know me as someone who doesn't really put anything on the walls at all, and it wasn't until one of the setup makeovers last year where we kinda of just experimented by putting things in random orientations. And we found a few more frames to kind of line up over the monitor, which also added a bit of color to the setup, and just finished it off with this Can Vogue piece right here with some motivational quotes on each side and also an area for Sean to store his keys before he head out the door. 
I think building around your setup is very important. And although I'm someone who doesn't like to have my desk facing the wall, um, I feel like a lot of people do prefer that. And the easiest way to make a huge difference is by just adding pieces on the wall around your monitor and just kind of adding a bit of color and things that you like in your surroundings to just not have it feel so bare staring at a wall all day if you spend as much time at the computer like I do. So as you guys can probably tell by now, a lot of our setup makeovers follow a similar style. And the reason why is because with IKEA furniture, any of you guys watching this video can essentially go to IKEA and build the setup for yourself, as opposed to going with something that is a bit more niche. There's always areas that you can customize, including like the tabletop itself, the different color variations, but the IKEA Alex I think is a very good starting point. And from there you can either grab a countertop or like a butcher board from the local hardware shop, which is what we did in this one. But but IKEA also has options such as the Carlby top, which we've also used in the past and comes in a walnut option and also an oak look. And if you want to add a standing element to your desk as well, you can do so for about $300 on Amazon from a company called Vivo, which also makes the monitor stand that we've used in this episode. And with that, you can add your own top, adjust the size based on how much room you have and how large your top is, and have a setup that looks very customized because it comes in the color of white or black. So depending on what color cabinets you go with, you can match that. But that pretty much wraps it up for this setup makeover. And although logistics were definitely a bit of a challenge, the IKEA Alex was out of stock, there's just a lot of things that took a bit of time to come. I can say that we were really happy with the final result. It has a nice natural look to it, the neutral walls as well as like the white bed furniture. I think at the cost that it was able to kind of come in at, you have a full transformation and there's also areas that you can kind of change and choose based on your liking to either reduce the cost or go with your preference when it comes to design. I think when it comes to customizing a desk setup, it really does depend on who is using it. In this case, we didn't have to go with like a really large monitor, like a 34 inch because Sean prioritizes music and the speakers over that. So instead of getting like a large monitor that is just too big uh, for a lot of people who may not be used to using a monitor, we went with larger speakers like the Kanto U4, which has that great bamboo look, but also gives a nice powerful sound for a room that is a decent size. So when it came to some of the other areas of the space, the bed was kind of up against the wall before. And I mean, it still kind of is, but because we've kind of rotated it over, it actually made a really big difference. And the IKEA Malm comes in at a very affordable price and is available in a few different colors. I think the best part about it is that the bed now faces the window. So every day when Sean wakes up, he can look out the window and he's someone who does wake up quite early. So that all kind of just makes sense. And we decided to also add a shelf next to it, which has some of the mood lights that are set as alarm clocks and just some decor here and there and also the books which he has a ton of that are distributed throughout the wall where the TV is and also on the shelving. But otherwise as always thank you guys for watching this video and after months of waiting for stuff to arrive and getting this whole setup together we're finally done and if you guys want to see more of this just make sure you drop a like on this video and if it does well then we'll continue the series. It is definitely one that takes a lot of work and actually costs quite a bit as well but if you guys enjoy it then I'm here to bring you that content and I'll see you all in the next video.